This is Palegni by MA7 Studio. It is 813.35 megabytes to download. Before you get put off by that, it is 100% worth it. It is a lovely map, as you'll see as we go round. I'm just going to read out some of the features of the map. So it says the roofs of houses get wet during rain. Roads get wet, dry and frost over in winter. You may see puddles of water in certain fields. Some factories have new functions like the sawmill or mills. Two new agricultural cooperatives. New crops such as mustard, triticale and alfalfa. A crane for transporting wood to the sawmill or to the frittadas centre. An area to build your own farm. Cheese production directly on the farm or in the communal dairy. There's a secret quest about the history of a funny animal from the Vosges and a whole multitude of new decors like the mechanic, the class dealership, the livestock stock trader even, the water tower etc. And it says this card works with the FS22 manure system, that's going to be PC only. So, pretty cool. Let's go and check it out. And here we are people, this is where you start off in all three modes and already you can see how lovely the detail on here, look, water running behind us. Can you hear the church bells? I know we've had some maps where the church bells go but this plays a pretty cool tune. French flag frying, nice monument, awesome. This is the map. As you can see, we are down here. I'm in new farmer mode, and this is what you start off in new farmer mode. So you've got a few fields that are spread about. Obviously, you don't have to keep those. You could sell them and buy some uh, fields more closer to your farm. But basically, you've got all these fields here and round like so, and over there. And then this plot here, that's going to be your main farm like so. Also does come with a field attached to it as part of the farm plot now those areas are valued at 49,000, 61,000, 96,000, 119,000, 59,000 just over 60,000, 26,000, 19,686 the main farm is a whopping 948 million so quite pricey but it's a very nice pretty farm the field prices are going to vary as you can imagine we've got ones for about 541 608 quite hefty on the price tag smaller ones for just 36,000 58,000 quite a few forestry areas i think it said about 10 ranging in prices 264 732 1.3 million so on and so forth there is an outside of the map which takes in all that, some more forestry areas, all the sort of roads and rivers. Um, but that is 3.1 million just over, so quite hefty as well on that price tag. There is two forestry plots that I noticed because I bought the whole map. You can buy the whole map. They are connected, so it's just those two. I don't think they're connected with anything else. No, it's just those two plots, a bit random. No number on those ones, I thought they might have been attached to the outside of the map, but 448,000 just over for those. You can buy the areas that the, or some productions and sale points are on, like that for instance. We've got, what have we got there, sale point and the bakery. If you buy those plots like that, it doesn't mean you own those productions, you will have to buy them as normal, but you might get a bit of use out of the land that they come on. Now, there is a few areas I'm going to need to buy, which I'll be adding in some money in a second, and I will go through those, and then that will show up a few things, extra animal pastures and things like that, so we will do that in a moment. I'll stay in this menu though, if I push right, as it said in the description, we do have new crop types, uh, or some added in custom ones, should I say. So we've got the triticale, I don't know if it's triticale or triticale, I suppose it doesn't matter how you say it. Alfalfa, spelt and mustard, which is nice. If we stay here and scroll up, 
there is seven collectibles now a little bit like i think it was the campaign of france where there was some leaflets or posters or something like that that you go around and collect there is the similar thing on here they are posters but i'm guessing they're going to add up to clues for the sort of whereabouts or more information on this mystery animal i will show you where one of those is as we go round pretty early on but i will give you a bit of a warning and spoiler alert if you don't want to see it so you can sort of shut your eyes but keep your ears open because i'll tell you when you can come back in right in <coughs> excuse me in productions we do start off with farm cheeses that is on our main farm so we can produce all those so a bit like your dairy butter cheese we can also produce bed bread and cake i will speak properly in a second so it's like kind of like your dairy and your bakery in one we haven't got chocolate there though and we can also produce old style mustard which is nice so you're going to need to just put in your mustard there and you can produce that all the others are the standard ingredients as far as i can tell contracts are going to be available on fields we don't own we do start off on our farm with a chicken pasture and a cow barn. We do have 15 chickens and one rooster already. They do have some feed as well, which is nice. There's our vehicles. We'll look at those in a second. All of our prices for crops, if I scroll down though to the bottom, you'll see the added in things. So if I go back up to stones, that is where the base game products end. We've got the mustard, alfalfa, obviously alfalfa hay because it is grass type, so we can produce hay from that. The triticale the spelt old style mustard and then two that we're going to be able to do through the productions which i will be buying to show you we can produce vegetable milk and a frame which is a wooden frame which is pretty cool places to sell those which is nice crop calendar scroll down we've got the extra four crops there with the planting and harvesting windows which is cool and that's pretty much it for that so pretty cool i will quickly show you there is a train on here there it goes it just reminded me basically runs across there like that and goes off to sell that city of ipanau wherever that is somewhere in france maybe i don't know um pretty cool you can't really see it from here though you can just about see a bit of it there lovely bridge um very much reminds me of oak Belleron with the railroad sort of tunnel viaduct thing whatever they're called the arches as you'll see instead of me just trying to explain it right mods there is only two in here which are map specific there is no required mods so you don't have to download any more which is nice so if we go into silos it's these we've got a nice bunker silo and there's also a silo for lime where you can store lime and you can also buy it to be put into this thing and then take it out you'll see that as we go around a little bit later so pretty nice that is that oh i should have stayed in here and showed you the painting textures got animal mud asphalt dirt dirt again a few of those forest ground grass dry grass gravel paves and that is it so a couple of little different ones there for us that's it we'll go through slot counts and then i'll add in some money and we'll get going i think so the slot count in new farmer mode which is what we are in is 1601 so again a little bit up there but there's some nice detail there's probably a couple of things up at the store that are using up slots but i'm fine with that it really brings the map to life but we've got two small tractors a case and a class we've got a russell mass harvester lizard pickup a trailer there the class trailer now if i let that scroll across you will see the four well a few extra ones i don't know why there's two alfalfas actually one's hay obviously there's two of them but it's got the custom crops is what i'm trying to say so you can use them got a header for that and again if you look down the bottom you're going to be able to do the three crops there your spelt triticale and mustard obviously alfalfa is going to be mowed with a mower because it's a grass type we've got a plow a cultivator a power harrow and a cedar now you can plant all four of those custom crops with a cedar you don't need to use a planter so a cedar will do all four 
fertilizer spreader, we've got a mower, a windrower, a baler, bell loader, front loader with some attachments, fork with grapple, bucket and bell spike and then we've got one weight like so. If you don't want any of that equipment you can sell it off and it brings the slot count down to 1465. If you come on here in Farm Manager and start from scratch, you don't get anything, no land, no equipment, and it is 1,407. In terms of the starting main farm over there, everything is still there, the buildings, etc. Even the chickens are there, but you need to buy the plot to be able to use any of it. You can't open any doors or anything like that. And that cheese farm production that I showed you just a second ago, that will obviously not be available to you until you buy that plot of land because it is in that plot part of our farm so that is that i'm going to add in some money i will see you back here and we will get whizzing around this beautiful map right oh we're back with quite a bit of money so we will buy these plots so if i click on that the first one we're going to visit is plot 102 up here if we buy that for 66 grand that gives us a cow pasture and plot 98 down here is just over 60 grand we'll buy that there's a sheep pasture on there plot 95 i think this is the second farm that it mentions that is a bit more pricey 345 grand just over there is a sheep pasture there and also a bell and pallet storage which is good and if we go to 86 where's 86 i will find it in a second is that 86 i can't even read my right we'll go yeah there it is there right 197,000. that's virtually opposite our main farm big cow pasture 87 110 grand another sheep pasture and 104 which is down here that is the bga i'm going to leave that actually until we get down there so we will visit that i think that is all we need to buy for things to show up yes so there we go right first of all i'm going to run around here because if you collect those seven collectibles it does say once you've collected one and you'll see in a second visit the children's playground to see kind of like the process or something like that progress sorry i don't know what she's doing um but just about here they're gonna form and i'm guessing they're gonna show some sort of map it looks like so it's probably gonna direct you somewhere on the map to do that which is pretty good um we'll run back up to where we were I'm quickly going to do a few things on foot just to make this a bit easier to so run down I mean, that's beautiful sound it might annoy some people just behind this house here there is a sell point it's just there that is called firewood so bring your wood here and sell it happy days jobs are good and and if we quickly run up and across one without getting run over we're just going to quickly run over to here we've got a couple of things going on here so we've got two buildings together we've got the boulangerie or your bakery basically and a sell point cocky express <laughs> cokey so we can buy the bakery as normal it is a standard bakery 50 grand and then round this side so that you don't get confused they've labeled them up so that's your sell point there for cocky and that's for your bakery putting in boulangery or selling whatever you're doing your products are going to appear there so that's those two out of the way we are going to walk down to our farm but as you can see people walking around lots of people there's lots of traffic on there as well whizzing around now right spoiler alert people if you don't want to see where one of these poster thingamajiggies are close your eyes now we're going to go and grab one i think the price varies for them though because i have actually found two and they were different prices so there's one here as you can see with the help menu i've left that on on purpose because i'll be able to show you a couple of things as well 
So we'll collect that. That gives us 16 grand. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I collected one earlier and it was only 10 or 11 grand. So it's going to vary. Um, but there's one and that will appear back down where we were in the children's play area. So you can now look again. I am not going to do any more. If we see any more as we go around, that is purely coincidental. Right, this is our farm. Um, not that no it is that no not that doors these doors so there we go i'm going to show you the other side all of these but there's our chicken pasture we can open all these doors even the small ones like so and these which is pretty nice and if i go round these doors open very nice entrance that is to our farm this is going to be the cheese farm production so we can go in it looks like a shop you can go all through but again i'm going to show you all farm side that's where you can manage your production etc if we go down through here we've got a lovely farmhouse with the sleep trigger on the front door area we've got the sort of main entrance in and out of the farm via your vehicles so i will go in that way that is one of the fields we start off with so we've got wheat in there ready to go do have a silo here um, so you're tipping in there and then you're going to collect out there now I'm unaware of the capacity of this I haven't filled it up or tried to but I did test to see whether it was multi fruit it, it, it isn't sorry a multi fruit but it will take those extra crops bar your alfalfa so it will not take alfalfa but it will take the mustard spelt and triticale so there we go right equipment all in and around here there is lights in a lot of these places you will need to probably find the triggers for them the light switches but there is a lot of lights dotted around so this is where you're going to fill up your cheese factory or product and we can manage that from there so like you saw earlier we can produce those things so there we go nice indeed now your products will spawn out here in this sort of hatched area here like so we do have as you can see bottom right on the field info bow and pallet storage on here as well so if i go up to there and open that it's going to say storage is empty but you're going to need to put them up there by the look of it if i go up into landscaping mode you can see again they're going to appear up there whether all 250 appear there i'm not quite sure but um that's where you need to put them in by the look of it so you're going to need to lift them up and then get them out over there which is good more equipment chickens free range roaming around the farm which again i really like nicely done just in here we have our workshop area so you can go in and out those doors drive through there's our tractor or one of them in this little door that's where you're gonna find your um, trigger for your workshop which is good if we go around into here that's the door opened earlier so we've got our chicken pasture so feed trough there like I said earlier there is some feed already eggs will spawn there dialogue boxes here only holds 30 chickens but you wouldn't expect there'd be loads would you so that's pretty cool now here is a cow barn which you saw we don't have any cows at the moment now if you buy them it will take 110 they will appear in this shed they also have a lovely pasture around the back which we can access via a gate so they will appear out there one thing i will probably note though is you might want to open that door down the end otherwise it just seems a bit weird that they're in here with this door shut and there's some out there so just you don't have to they're not gonna do anything different but just for sort of like simulation because it is a simulating game simulating simulation even right <laughs> milk collection point is there again we can open all these doors oh there they are like that as you can see feed and straw just through here manure is going to appear just in there as well and then we've got a slurry collection point just around the back so that's going to be slurry in there which is very cool right well we're up around here we've got more um equipment here again all these doors open 
a lot of these areas though they're just going to be for sort of decoration like so and there we have we've got little areas where we can store things we do have another bell and pallet storage area as you can see 1450 this one will hold so tipping in there i'm guessing they're all going to appear in this shed here and then you can take them out there again that's going to show storage is empty like so if i go around this way i don't know whether you'll be able to tip in over the back but we've got two bunker silos there i guess it depends what trailer you're using really nice size i mean look at this landscape look at that there's the train runs across that bridge there look at that it's just beautiful honestly mountains in the background really really nicely done map it's got me thinking um, another bunker silo in here and then we are back round by the slurry and manure so that is pretty much our farm i believe more equipment in there oh there's a couple of little things here i need to show you actually our pickups just here do have this sort of area there's a random chicken in there again i think it's just for storage there is over here look we can it says on so circle for me just turns those lights on so you will find random boxes like that which we can do things some of the pastures you can turn things on and off which we'll see in a second there is a pressure washer there we do start off with some liquid fertilizer and herbicide tanks and there also is over the back here we've got three big bags of um, seed there so that's pretty good right that's the farm done guys we will head on out so we've got a couple of things done and out under our belt i'm going to quickly show you on the map where we're going to roughly sort of head round so the ones i got out of the way were firewood and the bakery etc just because they were right on our doorstep but we're going to come round and we're going to do sort of something like that and go up round anti-clockwise and finish off down at the sheep pasture which is just down the road from our farm so that is the plan of attack off we head not off with his head but off with oh shut up snowy right up into here really nice entrance there is a farmhouse there so you could use that if you wanted to pretend that you live there and you own these cows this is going to be a milk collection point you will get milk from these cows really big pasture they've got to roam around in there hold 60 cows there is a feed trough sort of thing out there and then you are going to need to give them water that is there if you're wondering what that is this is what i said about pastures so that's why i've left the help window on it says show pasture troughs now i think they got it around the wrong way because they're already showing but if i press circle if I, in fact if i stay like that you should be able to see the both of them they then disappear so they've gone now I'm not sure why you'd want to do that because they look quite cool as they are but I did test I thought I wonder if just for instance you wanted to plow this up and put proper grass in here plant grass if they've got a collision on them and they do so if you turn them off you can drive straight through that area on both of them so just thought I'd point that out but there we go I do try and test things so that I can give you as much info as pos and with the two sheep pastures I had a little bit of um not a nightmare but just a bit of head scratching situation which I had to test and figure out cars will stop for pedestrians but we won't because we haven't got time for that we are busy people right um straight up into here i've got to remember my bearings now we've got two things going on in here so we have a sell point this is iso straw which is just here where you can sell a few things and we've also got carpentry now you sell your wood here as normal like that with carpentry you can buy it over there like so but it will only produce furniture from planks or wood and that's going to appear just there so it's a sort of standard carpentry so to speak 
there is that if we whiz down and where do we need to go next into here very random this bit I must admit go into sort of like an area like this we do have this liquid fertilizer tank so it is empty but we can fill it up up to 173 and a half thousand liters and then obviously you can collect out of there it's just random decoration isn't it got a couple of bays here where you might want to store things and also you can use these sheds here and they are dry through so you can drive through them if you wish to which we are going to just to get out the other side so very random that now off we head down and in this way again around the back of what looks like someone's house we've got a couple of things so we've got a sale point just here this is a landscaper where you can sell a few things that have got stones and things like that nicely done and this is the lime silo so it is empty you obviously got a tipping in and you've got an out point because obviously you can put lime in there and store it but it will only hold 35,000 litres and you can fill it up like this if you wish to so you can buy up to 35,000 litres whatever you wish do you need to reverse out of here and head down to that lovely looking tower and that is the water tower so that's one of the sort of custom built thingy-majiggies so you can grab water from there it will charge you but also on here you can get free water from these rivers I did test that as well so there we go right let's spin around and we want to go that way don't we so I've chosen a route where you're going to get to see a fair bit of the um, map as best as I could kind of thing um, this is quite random as well this is our field as you can see it has been harvested for us already and there's straw on the deck so we can straight away bale up some straw get that field turned around happy days okay I'm pretty sure you can see what's coming next and that is our biogas plant now obviously nothing is showing as of yet click on that you're not going to be able to sell it or anything like that so no triggers showing anything like that by the plot of land 517,296 we then get the BGA icon up here and everything starts showing up there so obviously I reckon collecting out there with digestate maybe manage it from there tipping in here and there it is a standard BGA as far as I can tell two lovely sized bunker silos as well we head down these tracks love all the tire marks in these muddy tracks as well I know we've obviously seen that on other maps as well but it is definitely up there with some of the best maps on FS22 in my eyes right so let's have a quick check where I am heading yeah we're gonna go back up like that and then across that way because we've done all of this section so far so yeah we will get going got a little sort of stream if there's a tiny little bit of water in there it's not a lot lovely little bridges going over it just a very very scenic map lots of animal noises going on earlier on I thought I heard sirens going as well so quite a bit going on and I'm not concentrating I'm looking at the mini map might get to see the train go across the top there you would never know right into this area we will be buying this this is quite a big building in production um, again 
you think that, or I thought that was where we would buy the production, but um, I think it's just letting you know that you can open these gates. If you can't open all of them, I think it's just these first three, because when you produce some products, they are going to appear here, like so. Now, I don't know whether you're going to have a problem if, say, you want to get to these products, because the price is good, and you've got a load of these in front of you. I don't know if you're going to have to shift them all around or not, but um, that might be a problem. You never know. I'm holding up traffic. Sorry, people. Come on, go past me. Should probably have pulled over a little bit better. Lovely water wheel go around there because it is a mill a really really nice detail and scenic out the back near all the creatures going so we do buy it from here that is a whopping 800,000 now it is a lot but if I do that it is basically let's turn these off not that it really matters it is almost an all-in-one job so we can produce flour, cereal, the oils, sunflower, canola, olive and sugar from sugar beet, sugar beet cut and sugar cane. Not only normal standard suspects for flour, we can use spelt as well which is nice. So although that is quite expensive, it will produce all those things which is nice. The tipping in over there like so. Again another one of these here and it says on there so if I click on that to turn those lights on up there it took me a while to figure out what that one was but we got there in the end so that's that mill we are going to go underneath and then turn right up this track you only seem to get traffic sort of on the main roads and around town and sort of as you go away from the town slightly but out here I think it's pretty pretty derelict kind of thing in terms of traffic right this is our sawmill so wood chip out point there I would say I haven't tested everything and if we go up the ramp we are right by the train tracks we can buy the sawmill 100,000 I will buy that because you can produce planks here from wood and using your planks you can produce those frames and they're not too bad for price wise to be fair and if we drive around this side you're going to see where we can unload if you wish to you can sell your wood just there like so there now I couldn't work out it says a crane to um, I can't remember what exactly what it said, but it said a crane to transport wood to the sawmill and to the Fratardus, which is basically where the train um, cell point kind of loading and unloading is. Now, there is this at the sawmill, so you could probably chuck logs in there. Don't know how easy you're going to do that. And that whizzes up there then. And I guess the wood goes off in under there. I haven't actually tried it. But um, in terms of a crane, I couldn't actually see what they meant with that. And over by the train, there's not even anything there for that. So I'm not quite sure what that's about. If anyone has worked that out or knows if it's not working or it's missing, then please let me know. That would be fantastic. Now, just about here, I had real flashbacks to Oak Belleron. I don't know why, getting close to this sort of train area i just thought wow yeah that really brings back memories of playing on that map and that was a really cool map i liked that map enjoyed it and i think this is going to be a similar sort of map oh there is traffic this way look happy days plenty of chance for me to crash then little substations there look electrics nice indeed and then just up here and in this area this is a sale point this is souffle agriculture 
so sell in there you can open this gate if you want to simulate it you're piling it up in there like so and then we've got this pretty cool thing we've had these on max but they don't seem to work but we've got this over here so if you pull up if you want to with your trailer full of grains you can use this and it will go down to activate grain probe so if you want to do a bit of probing <laughs> carry on that is also a way station as well right out of there and we'll head up this way I need to be very careful that I don't miss out on anything because it's quite easy to go past certain areas now to our right I guess that is the plot where they've said you can build your own farm and we are now up here so you can buy that for just over 25 grand and as you can see it is empty not completely flat but I think you'll be able to do some things which is nice so I'll quickly do a recap let's get off that so yeah we did all round here didn't we water tower come down into there for the BGA I went up that way did that water mill in there sawmill up into there we did the souffle etc now we're there and we're going to come down like that and carry on just round like so so next up is the animal dealer and there's also a cell point there as well so animal dealers just there and then right down the end we've got a cell point you can't seem to open any of those doors i just love the way everything's sort of at different levels as well so now we go back round and down I am going to go round the roundabout that disappears up there looks like there's a tree growing in the road though I do have a little viewpoint here with the name of the river the Deboy Inn something like that my French is not the greatest I do apologise right we will head on down but look at that beautiful view I just very cool very nice indeed right we need to turn right here again across sort of a double doop doop bridge all the way down here on the right now is the sheep pasture but up this end is where the gate is and the triggers and things so let's stop there obviously gates if I go to the right side it opens out this will hold 50 sheep very nice pasture for them to go in and again the same you're going to need to give them wool and you can hide those thingies there feed trough just there ah now I do apologize I only tested this sheep pasture and this one I didn't test this one because I was a bit stumped with the wall this one was a bit more obvious this one I couldn't trip uh, trigger couldn't find out or work out where the wall spawn point trigger was it randomly spawned about there in the field so I'm guessing this one here is going to do the same so yeah it just randomly sort of spawned in a spot like that there's no obvious place for it to be on these pastures so apologies for that I did not test that one if we head up we do need to do a little bit of a zigzag oh, and try not to knock the fence down for the sheep pasture again stunning views look you can see the church where we started off town area I quite like that on maps as well the separation between the sort of built up town area and then you come out here and you just feel like you're in the middle of nowhere basically right if we stop there we've now got a cow pasture so again milk's going to be collected out there I'll jump the fence this time hold 35 cows not a huge amount again that's going to turn off the troughs there's a feed trough out in the middle and a water trough there like so and they will roam in and around there like so carrying on 
and although there's not a huge amount on this map it just feels like it's quite a big map I think it's the fact that you've got to drive sort of fair distances to get to certain things um, we want the next one I nearly made that mistake earlier um, you can see the sort of forestry we've got in and around us it's a pretty much mixture of everything with the trees types that though is part of the expensive outside part of the map but um all the sort of standard forestry areas you can buy they are similar to that they've got different tree types in there so it's not all going to be your pine and your spruce or whatever got a bit of everything going on in there right i think next is going to be the railroad um, it's not silo so that's another thing um, well I guess it is actually isn't it because you're going to tip in aren't you forget that what I just said I'm talking gibberish so here it is frittatus like so, so you're going to tip in there there's no sort of out point though roadside so normally you can load up and unload via the road and then do the same via the train but there's no unload sort of thing roadside so I'm not quite sure rent a train point is there so as you can see you got the two icons there tipping in and out so I don't know why there's a unloading train bit and as for that crane again no idea what they're on about there there's that concrete bit that goes over but there's nothing visible on there I went in up around at all it doesn't come up with any triggers or anything like that so I'm not quite sure with that guys apologies for that but um there's your train area like so I guess you could store wood up there but then I don't know what that would do really it's almost like the crane needs to be here doesn't it to pick it up from that area I don't know if it's missing or if it was meant to be a required mod but it doesn't say any required mods on the mod hub website and it didn't ask me to download any when I started downloading the map so whether that needs tweaking I'm not sure Again, gorgeous views look. And I believe this is going to be the second sort of farm. This is uh, the only one I can think of up on the sort of hillside. Now this is a bit random as well. It says open storage dialogue. It says 250 total capacity. So we can take out, it says storage is empty. But I'm not quite sure where you tip them in. There was nothing again obvious. So where you unload the bells or pallets not quite sure but this is another sheep pasture so feed triggers there this one as well randomly doesn't require water which is odd seeing as all the others do the pastures hold 35 sheep though they will appear out there and their wall this was the more obvious one will appear there I wasn't sure if that was the tipping in for the pallets and bowels, but that is actually where the wall spawns. So, a bit random. And again, one of these boxes over here, look, if I do that, it turns on these lights. Like so. Now, if we take this dirt track, this is part of this plot of land. If you buy it right down the end there, look, you can see that shed. We've got another bell and pallet storage. So I don't know why you've got this massive one and potentially a small one up there because this will hold 1,500. So collecting there, unloading just there like so. Very nice big storage on this map as well. I think they're trying to push you towards bells and pallets on here aren't they? Which is absolutely fine right if we head down just across make sure i don't get hit got this cool little area so we've got a fuel um point there 
just spent one euro on that we've also got another workshop trigger I like that though look it's going to say Peugeot Bougie. they obviously can't use that <laughs> licensing I guess pretty cool that they've done that though um, now we need to go this way we only got a few more things left to see guys so please stick with me that would be awesome we have down here this is the dairy so I'm guessing they say the communal dairy so there's two unloading points just there and there I'm thinking this one's going to be for grain types grain types you say yes you'll see in a second and that's going to be for liquids like milk and things like that and your products are going to appear down there this isn't too bad I think for price yeah 70 grand and this one we can produce our butter cheese and chocolate like your standard dairy it'll also do vegetable milk though and you've got to use either spelt soybeans or oats so that's going to be your grains over there nice I'll quickly have a look because i want to make sure i get this bit right so we finished i think up here where i last showed you animal dealer came down across into there to the sheep pasture and then we've done that bit of a zigzag up to the cow pasture down to that second left down here no down there sorry up into the railroad area that second sort of farm bell pallet storage straight across the road fuel and shop we're now here we're literally going to come down do those two and that sheep pasture that should be us done i hope i haven't missed anything if i have please let me know and tell me off right so over this nice bridge Okay, let's go right and we will take this one here again we've got another sort of grain probe and way station if you wish to if I whiz around the back you don't need to go all the way around the back but I just thought I would up into here we have the cell point and this was I don't know how to say this for Jez was Jez cooperative and then next door we've got our shop which again has been really nicely done and like I said at the start you've got these guys sat here so that could be using slot counts up for us console players but I'm fine with that nice class dealership inside you've got your menu you've got little offices up there you can't go in any of them but it's pretty cool that they've been done like that Again, more equipment there and you've got your workshop trigger etc just there this is also your reset point down here at the store just over there sort of thing so if you buy lease or reset anything that is where it's going to be and if we go around here like so last port of call our farm is over there so oh, there you go you can just about see the bell and pallet storage this is the last visit for us i will stop there again i'll jump the gate this is the last sheep pasture this will hold 75 sheep again hide your troughs etc feed triggers out there water there and the wool spawned roughly here for me so no no sort of black and yellow zones on the floor that i could see such so as why I had to test it. Now, what I did find with the sheep, I'll quickly buy some so that you can see what I'm talking about. I'll just do that. And then we'll go to our animal menu. What I did wrong when I was testing, because I didn't have any other mods installed, I grabbed some hay bales from the store and brought them over with a telehandler. And I skipped forward a day and it wasn't showing any wall at all. And I was like, oh my God, it's broke. What's going on? But it's probably because it's only 50% effective. So then I quit out, loaded in with some mods so I could do it all properly. Multi-fruit buying station, etc. Trailer full of grass. Bang, straight in there. Skip forward one day. Wall, etc. 
happy days. Obviously, I had to give them water as well, otherwise it wouldn't work. There we go. I think we've done it all, guys. That is Palegni by MA7 Studio. Let me know your thoughts, as always. I think it is an absolutely beautiful map. Stunning. Really, really nicely done. Maybe there's just a couple of things that need tweaking here and there, like the crane situation. I'm not quite sure. But, um... Hopefully that will get sorted if it is a problem or something's missing. But I hope you have enjoyed it, guys. If you have, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. That would be fantastic. And don't forget to smash that bell so you don't miss any future videos I post. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.